It's very, very, very grand. Yeah, it's very grand. This venue is phenomenal. Really, the atmosphere is amazing. I've actually got the lav mic on today, so hopefully the audio will be better. Sandwiches were really amazing. Some of the afternoon teas that we've had before, the bread was quite hard or starting to dry out. But this one, it was kept you know, soft and moist. The sandwiches are really nice. Looking forward to actually having some of the um, desserts at the top. I forgot what he said they were. I hope you remembered. All I remember is that's the lemon macaron. What's your review of the macaron? It's really chewy. It's not overly sweet either. There's like a, a filling inside of it, it's meant to be lemon. It's not a strong lemon taste. As for the tea, I went for the Ritz chai, which already had milk in it, so I don't have to add the own milk. It's quite a light tea, quite nice. I went for the Ritz Royal Wing. It's like full cool body. <laughs> Wing has just tried the Ritz chai. What's your verdict? Very cool flavour, tinted spice. Milkier than a normal other tea. Not as bitter though, is it? Your tea was. Victor. I prefer like a, a traditional English, which is what uh, the Ritz Royal English is about. Cakes weren't overly sweet. The sweetest thing were actually the scones with the jam. You don't feel sickly after the entire experience. The rich try, highly recommended. Medium body as according to Wing. I don't even know what that means. Very light, small flavour of spices in there. Not overbearing, it's not like traditional Indian jar, which is very rich in spices. This is just very nice. Definitely recommended. After the tiered stand, they also bring out more cakes. Always room for more cake. It's like a lemon drizzle loaf. There's also a rum cake, which I think was only offered to those who had the champagne afternoon tea. We've just finished our afternoon tea. Pretty stuff. The only thing that's holding in my little um, food baby is this waistcoat. If I breathe a bit too, too much, <laughs> the button's going to go flying. Overall, we really enjoyed the um, afternoon tea experience. The venue itself is phenomenal, very grand, very beautiful, nicely ordained, loads of flowers, vases, gold, very luxury and extravagant. The perfect date, night or date, day. A special occasion, it has that. Yeah. Wow factor. I must have drank like a litre plus of tea. You went from Ritz Chai to Moroccan Mint to Ritz Chai again. Yeah, don't be afraid to switch your teas part way. At the beginning it felt a bit rushed, but I think they have sittings, so it felt like they were just sort of churning out the food. At the initial period it got quite relaxed, the pace sort of mellowed out. They just wanted to get you filled up on sandwiches and scones and then like let you TV, relax. Yeah, yeah. You did feel it was a bit impersonal to begin with. But when we made the booking, we actually said it was to celebrate our anniversary, but nothing was there to acknowledge that. Yeah, there's no mention of it or special cake of sorts. Although you had the option to add a special cake. At the time of booking, you could add a special cake if you wanted to. We opted not to have it. You, you probably don't need it, to be honest. Yeah. There's that much cake here, you'll be caked out. That's our luxury date night. Let us know what you think if you've been to the Ritz before in the comments below or any of the afternoon teas that you'd recommend. If you like, in the reviews and what you're seeing uh, then please uh, like and subscribe to the video until the next one we'll love you and leave you bye bye you don't need Bollywood song uh, <laughs> I do I do Bollywood song
Well, which ones can you play? Yeah! Is it Kal Kalhona? Kuch Kuch Hoka Hai Asa, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Kabi Kushi, Kabi Gum, this is. Oh, no, 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 no,